Investing in the stock market is to, a way to buy little pieces of a company. So the company's value changes every day as they do good things and they're profitable or as they lose money and make bad decisions. So your little piece of the company that you own might become more valuable if the company makes money or it might become less valuable if the company doesn't make money. It's like many things that you can own that, that change in value. If you buy a house, the value might rise or it might go down and you don't know how fast that will happen. But with stocks, it tends to happen quicker and it's much more volatile. It changes much more frequently. So in the stocks activity, you're pretending to spend $10,000 on the stocks of your choice and you're going to track them for 10 business days to see what happens to the value of your investment. So I decided that the companies I'm going to invest in are Apple, Red Hat, Ford, and DuPont. Now we've got a total of $10,000 to invest and you can decide how you want to split that up. You can split it up evenly so that you're spending $2,500 on each company, or you can break it up all differently. I decided that I want to spend $3,000 on Apple, and I want to spend $2,500 on Red Hat, and $3,000 on Ford, and $1,500 on DuPont. Now I need to figure out how many shares of each of those that can buy. So on 226, which is when I collected my starting data, Apple's shares cost 96.91 each. That's a nine, not a four. And Red Hat was at 67.98. Ford was at 12.46. And DuPont was at 61.51. I found these by looking on Google. Google makes it very easy to find out what the current stock price is. So all I did, you can see right here, I googled Apple stock price and it told me the price. This is the current price right here. So just look at this big black number, you don't need the rest of it. So once you know how much you want to spend on each company and what each company's shares cost, you can figure out how many shares you can buy simply by dividing how much you're spending by the price. So $3,000 divided by $96.91 told me that I was buying 30.96 shares of Apple. It is okay to buy a fraction of a share. You can really do that in real life. So you'll go through and for each company, divide what you're spending by the current price to figure out how many shares you're going to buy. Once you know how many shares of each company you're buying, go ahead and put that information with the number of shares purchased and your starting price in Excel. So on Monday, 229, I went back and I checked the prices again, and they had fluctuated a little bit. You can see that Apple went down by a few cents, and Red Hat went up by quite a bit, actually. And again, all I did to see what the value was the next day, you know, I own 30.96 shares of Apple. So I multiply that by the price on 229 over here, the 96.82. And you multiply those together to see what it's worth on that day. So for each of these, every day you'll take the number of shares purchased. Let's do it down here for Ford, 240.78 shares that I bought, so now I own them, and then on 229, each of those shares was worth 12.58, so you multiply those, and we see that on 229, my Ford shares were worth $3,029.01, and so you'll do that for each of your stocks every day, and then you'll total up what they are worth at the end of the day, and what you're going to be graphing in your chart is the totals at the bottom for each day. Those are what you're putting on your line graph, and that's what you're analyzing in your short paragraph.